What's up everybody? Go Burns climbing back upon Mount Soapbox for another rant. And if you have a rant suggestion for a future episode, be it about Grand Theft Auto, Mafia, Red Dead Gaming in general, or YouTube. I love ranting about YouTube because they're so freaking awesome. Feel free and send your rant suggestions my way via the comment section or through uh, my other social media outlets, Twitter or Facebook, all of which can be found below in the description section. But FYI, make sure you check my rant playlist before you send me a rant because I may or may not have already ranted about that particular topic. Okay, so anyways, uh, with the Smuggler's Run update, we got a ton of new customizable aircraft, uh, hangars, empty maze bank accounts, and even some empty real bank accounts. But one other change that came was Rockstar once again readjusting downforce when it comes to some of these supercars. Now, I claim not to be a downforce expert. I would uh, recommend you check out Bruffy's channel. Uh, he's the expert when it comes to lap times, top speed, when it comes to the vehicles in the game, not me. Now, downforce was, I believe, introduced sometime after cunning stunts for some of the supercars added to cunning stunts and maybe even some of the sports cars i think not all of them and not all supercars but specific supercars i guess to make them like use the cunning stunt races better or perform better because traditionally it was all about the spoiler but then it all became about downforce and the cars that had downforce became the fastest cars in the game until rockstar tweaked it and then that was no longer the case and then Rockstar retweaked it, and they've, they've tweaked it so many freaking times. And each time they tweak it and retweak it, it changes the list of, of the best cars when it comes to top speed and lap time. So it leaves a lot of the uh, fan base wondering, well, okay, which car is the best? Because you have other content creators out there like Bruffy who always does the you know testing you know, to determine which cars are the best cars for your money performance-wise. And then Rockstar all of a sudden decides to tweak the downforce either add to it, take it away, vice versa, whatever mood they happen to be in. And every time they do, um, you know, some of the vehicles end up moving up and down that list, especially at the very top of the list, leaving a lot of us scratching our head like, okay, so should I keep this car or should I sell the car in favor of a supercar that's now at the top of the list? Or is Rockstar going to change uh, the variables of downforce yet again? And make this car no longer the fastest car or one of the fastest cars when it comes to top speed and doing laps in races as well as cunning stunt races. And yes, there are people out there that buy all these cars that have plenty of garage space and the money to do so. But then there's other players in the game that don't have as much money because these cars are expensive and all the other content that has come out of all these updates are very, very pricey. So they're very limited on the money they do have to spend on a good quality supercar and they're going to go for the best one they can get their hands on overall performance wise when it comes to laps and top speed and so they look at content creators videos like Bruffy's and by the way I'm not playing shoot the messenger here this is not on Bruffy at all so don't get any ideas there this is on Rockstar because Bruffy puts a lot of work into his videos, and no, I'm not brown nosing here. I'm just being honest. And every time you know he he sets you know his list of you know top you know performance cars, and then Rockstar goes in and they they retweak the downforce again. It's like taking like a deck of cards and just knocking them over, and he has to rebuild that deck from scratch. And I'm sure it makes him scratch his head and wondering why Rockstar, why can't you just leave it alone? Why do you keep effing with it? If I was doing something like that, I would I would be bald right now because I'd pull all the hair out from my head over the fact that I'd have to keep going back, you know, retesting these cars each and every time. And unfortunately, because you have previous videos with different, you know, rankings, the problem is people will come across those older videos and then they'll make assumptions. And, like, and then they'll be like, oh, no, you're wrong, you know, YouTuber. You know, that car's no longer the fastest. And then you're shaking your head like, I know, that's the older video. I've had this happen in some of my videos, by the way. <laughs> Side topic. But I understand the need to get the downforce right when it comes to these uh, performance issues for the supercars. And 
I think maybe a few sports cars. I could be wrong about that, but I get it. I, I totally do. But at the same time, a lot of people, like myself, will go and sell a car because it's no longer the best performing car, and because you know we're trying to you know like put together as much money as we can for the next update. Long story short, I decided because of the current statistics pre Smuggler's Run that it was in my best interest to sell the Wagner. And in hindsight, it was a bad idea because Rockstar, once again, messed with the downforce, making the Wagner the best you know, performance car lap-wise. So I'm sitting here thinking about what I once had, and now it's gone. But anyways, uh, so I can imagine the frustration, the anger that a lot of the, the subscribers out there feel when it comes to having the best supercar, having the best sports car, or sports classic, etc and you think you have the best car and then rockstar does something with the downforce and then you no longer have the best car and you're like okay we'll I have to go get that car now and so you sell this car and then you go buy this other car and then all of a sudden rockstar once again retweaks downforce and you no longer have the best car and there's also a possibility that the car you sold is now the best car once again and you're just going what the hell rockstar what the hell so anyways, that's my frustration with Downforce, the fact that they keep retweaking it over and over again. And maybe Rockstar should just built an entirely new class of cars revolved around Downforce, maybe like a, a hyper class, you know, above the super class. That way the super classes could still have the uh, you know spoilers depending on their top speed and make hyper class for actual quote unquote racing cars like Formula One, you know, in that, that category of racing. Of course, some people also want a rally class as well, which would actually be awesome. And while we're at it, we might as well have a, a truck class. Wait, I did a rant on that already. Anyway, so yeah, that's downforce for you in a nutshell. Uh, you know, it's just another way to make the cars either faster or slower, <laughs> depending on when Rockstar decides to tweak with uh, downforce and some of the uh, supercars in Grand Theft Auto Online. And yeah, it can be frustrating for uh, the fans who buy these cars and for content creators who put a lot of time, effort, and energy in making videos, trying to give their viewers, subscribers, and fans you know, the best amount of information possible so that they can go and buy the right car. Until Rockstar comes out with a new update and completely you know, changes the formula altogether. That, in a nutshell, is downforce for you. 